Did you know there's a creature that never breathes oxygen? It's called Henegase Ominicola. It survives using strange chemical energy instead of air. Life always finds a way. Discover more weird biology with Factworm. There are tons of animals that can survive without oxygen for a little while, like this salamander, which can go for hours. But this worm takes it to a whole new level. Henegar salmonicola lives in the gill plates of salmon and other fish, and although it looks like a tiny worm, closer inspection reveals something strange. It doesn't have a mouth or a digestive system at all. Instead, it absorbs dissolved organic compounds through its skin to get its nutrients. But wait, there's more. Henegar also has a structure called a trophism. This is basically a big sack full of sulfur that gives the worm its energy. How does this work? Well, instead of using oxygen to make energy, Henegar uses a chemical reaction with hydrogen sulfide. This is the basis of a process called chiosynthesis, which is used by some bacteria on Earth. These bacteria are often found in deep-sea volcanic vents, where they thrive without oxygen. But this is still pretty weird. So just how much energy does a worm need to survive? Well, it turns out that Henega doesn't really need to eat. Its metabolic rate is extremely low, which means it can survive for years without needing to find a new source of sulfur. And because it lives inside the gills of fish, it doesn't even need to move around much to find food. Life really does find a way. Henegar was only discovered in 2019, so we're still learning about it. For example, scientists do want to know if all Henega species get their energy from chiosynthesis, or if some use other methods. There are lots of different Henega species that live in different fish, and some of them might use oxygen like the rest of us. But one thing's for sure, if there's a way to survive, life will find it. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about weird biology, check out the series in the description or comments below. And as always, be sure to subscribe for more fun science stuff.